Hey everybody, welcome to the Narrow Gable Andrew Crossy. Please click, like, subscribe, share, so we can all grow together with the love of Christ in our hearts and in truth, back through the narrow gate, back home to heaven. Okay, so this little uh, video is um, definitely Holy Spirit inspired. Um, and it's a warning, it's a warning. It's a warning to us people in faith, um, us lay people. It's uh, a warning to those that um, are lukewarm in their faith that don't have a fully full understanding because remember what Jesus said I'd rather you have no faith than to be lukewarm for I'll vomit you out of my mouth so we must be very careful and there's a reason why I quote that scripture um, if we're lukewarm in our faith and that's okay God seeks to love us he just seeks to um, bring us into the refuge of his sacred heart and he and He seeks to have this relationship with us he seeks to um to bring us closer to him. So those that are lukewarm, those that are on the periphery looking in, um, please draw closer to Christ because Jesus really wants to bring you into the, the furnace of that flame in his most precious sacred heart. So this warning today, I was talking to a, a friend of mine that sent me a little voice message this morning. And um, before he sent the message, uh, uh, this here, um, through my spirit, my soul, uh, it was a warning against those that go against God's prophets. Serious warning, folks. Because um, the scripture says to lean not on your own understanding. So um, we, and, and, and by the way, that's not to say to be naive and believe every word that comes from everybody because there's many false prophets and false teachers amongst us. And we can see that. And by their fruits, you will know them. That goes for the false teachers by their fruits. And that also goes by God's chosen children. God's prophets, God's teachers, um, those that love the, the Lord, those that speak the word of God, um, those that desire to build the faith. So what does a prophet do? A prophet comes to warn God's children in, simplis in simplistic terms. A prophet comes to give messages from God in heaven. And the word of God is living, live and active. The word of God is unfolding even right now as I'm doing this video. It's, it's not like a book where you read 10 chapters of a book and it says the end. No, the end hasn't come yet. Christ's second coming hasn't come yet. The new heavens and the new earth have yet to come and they're on their way. And there's a serious cleansing that has to take place before. And that's the reason why I do this little channel too, to reach out to souls, those that are, that are, that are lukewarm, those that are far away from the faith, those that don't know Christ. I have this desire in my heart because I love God's children and I know once... And there's no condemnation. There's no judgment on any of what I'm saying. Uh, I was away from the faith a long time myself. And only by God's grace and my encounter with Christ on the cross, I wouldn't have come back to the faith. Who knows where I'd be right now? So, um, and there's a great responsibility, especially even making these videos. Um, our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. So there's a truth within us that we must speak out loud for the Lord, especially his word and his teachings. Okay, so I'm going to read uh, um, a little bit of scripture. I'm going to bring the word of God into this here, uh, um, uh, this video. As I said, a friend of mine had sent me the voice message this morning. I had a good long talk with another good friend of mine. And then there was a fire in me to make this video. So praise and thank you, Jesus. Um, and yet the gloves are off for Christ, right? Because the enemy is punching big time. Um, in the world right now. The spirit of darkness is encompassing the world. The spirit of lies, um, the clouds of lies is covering in the world right now and we need to pay attention. Um, okay, so I'm going to read this bit of scripture. Yet he sent the prophets among them to bring them back to the Lord to come to warn, to testify against them, but they would not listen. Then the spirit of God took possession of Zechariah, the son of the priest of Jehodiah, he stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord? Why do you break the commandments of God? So that you cannot prosper because you have forsaken the Lord. He has also forsaken you. Remember, folks, the wages for sin is death. This is why we must lead a godly life. We must cleanse our temples, the body that the Lord has given us. But they conspired against him and they commanded the king that him be stoned to death. And that's Zechariah um, in the court of the house of the temple of the Lord. So that 
was um, a warning from God and from his prophets. And and then he got he, he received death. Now, many of God's prophets are among us right now. The word is living, live, and active. It's still unfolding as we speak. Now, how did God communicate with his children in the past? Even when the the shepherds of faith were not listening, they're not listening. Um, because this is a warning to the layman, those that are weak look warm, and to the shepherds of the flock. God's prophets are sent among us to warn us. There are many prophets sent in this times. I'm a carpenter by trade, and I'm a master joiner, and I mean that with love and grace in my heart. The Lord gifted me in my trade. I can build a kitchen, I can build a set of stairs, I can build a, a hotel, um, I can do all this lovely work. But to do that work, I need tools. I need a, multi I need a multiple of tools to, to do a nice job, to do a perfect job. So in these times, as the spirit of darkness is descending over the world, the spirit of lies is descending over the world, God has sent his prophets forth and he sent a right few of them to come forth. They're very heavily rebuked and rejected. Those that are very heavily rebuked and rejected, I would say pay a bit of attention to them because there's a reason why they get heavily rebuked and rejected. Now, I'm not saying to believe every word that comes out of every um, a video that you see on YouTube or every prophet that you hear of. I'm just saying to simply discern, to discern the word for by their fruits you will know them. You will know the prophets um, by their fruits. You know, the good prophets, you know them by their fruits. You know the bad prophets by their fruits, as I've said. Okay, so what's the warning about? The war this warning that I feel in my heart is that for us, I'm just a simple soul. I love Jesus. I go to my mass. I go to adoration. I go to my confessions. I try to remain in a state of grace. I'm no big theologian, as I keep on saying. I just want to reach out to God's children to try and bring them back into the faith because I know that the storm's coming. That's another video. Um, but for us faithful, that the Lord has given us a different side of I say, uh, um, different eyes to see and hear. Um, we must be careful. And even those that, that, that aren't into the faith, that are mocking God's prophets, that are mocking these people that are coming for the Lord, that are coming to give warning. There's a many in this country in Ireland. There's a few in this country in Ireland that have, um, that, that are, that are, that are given, uh, prophetic words. Um, they're prophets. There's many even, I've even got friends that are having dreams in these times. And the dreams are coming true. They're coming to fruit. Look at the walk of the cross last year that the Lord gave me. It come to fruit. If it was false, the Lord could have crushed me as, as I try to bring Ulster, Munster, Leinster and Connacht together to mark Ireland with the, the island of Ireland with the cross. But he could, have, he could have used that against me to crush me, to humble me if I was speaking lies. But that came to fruit exactly how Jesus showed it even though many obstacles were thrown in the way. Many of God's prophets are suffering right now. Um, they're suffering tremendously. Um, those that love Christ, those that speak for Christ, are suffering both health-wise and interiorly because they desire to bring God's children to the Lord. It's not easy to bring um, the, these messages uh, to people um, to warn God's children, they're under massive scrutiny the whole time. There's great suffering in it, but they must persevere um, to the end and, and, and Jesus' mighty name. Because at the end of the day, when they die and they go before the throne of God, it's just them and God. And if God has given them this, this mission um, and they haven't, um, they haven't completed it, well, they're accountable before the throne. Okay, so the warning is for us, for the simple souls, even for the shepherds of the faith, is if you hear of a prophet, don't desecrate them. Don't be quick to judge and speak ill against them. Please discern their messages. You can't give judgment of a prophet of God if you haven't read any of their messages. And if their messages go against the word of God, simply throw the book away because it's not of God. That's just simple basics. Now, it's a warning to us lay people. It's a warning to those in the periphery that are looking in. It's a warning to the atheists that mock God anyways. Um, it's a warning to the shepherds to discern any messages that are coming forth. 
don't give judgment on any prophet um, without reading their messages. You, you have no right. We have no right to make judgment of any prophet without reading their messages. That is as simple as that, because that's coming from a place of ignorance. And I'll leave it at this here. Like I said, the Lord has graced me to be a master carpenter and it takes many tools to complete a beautiful job, a big job, whether it's a set of stairs or a kitchen. You need two sets of different tools for, for each job. The times that we're living in, as these storm clouds are descending over the earth and the spirit of wickedness is just swarming the world right now, God will send many of his children forth to dream dreams, to have visions and prophesy in his name. If the spirit of wickedness is moving swiftly throughout the earth right now, that is crushing God's children, that is keeping God's children from coming closer to, to Jesus and Our Lady and the faith. Many tools are needed so the Lord will use his children. The Lord will send his prophets to warn just as he did um, in the Old Testament. And as I say, it's living, live and active. The word is live right now as we're speaking. And there are prophets among us, there are true prophets among us that have come to warn God's children to turn them back to the foot of the cross and away from the deceit of the world to turn them into the light of his most sacred heart and turn them away from the darkness of the world. So this is a wee warning, folks. Please, if there's any prophets and you don't fully understand them, please don't make judgment without reading their messages. Um, I'm not big into prophecy. I just have a simplistic faith. But this is just a warning for those that are running around that are judging. Because I hear a lot of people speaking against different missions. And my, my warning that I feel in my heart that I have to give is if you don't fully understand whatever prophet you're reading, if you don't fully understand it, or you don't even want to read the messages or um, just don't make a judgment if you haven't read the messages. And if you've read the messages and you still don't understand, it's best to remain silent and say nothing because we could be going against God's very mission. So we must remain silent and say nothing if we don't fully understand it. Don't ridicule God's prophets. Don't do it. It's dangerous because God's prophets come to warn. God's prophets come to save souls. And we know that the enemy, the spirit of wickedness in high places that's encompassed this world, your adversary, the, de the devil, seeks to sift your soul. And, seek and so do, do we not think that God's going to send his prophets in amongst us to warn his children? I think that he will, because victory was on the cross. Christ conquered death and grave on the cross. He crushed Satan. He's in the desert right now, and he re he rebuked Satan. He was given all the kingdoms of the world, and he rebuked him and rejected him. So, folks, this is just a little warning. Um, please, please, if you don't understand, it's best to zip your mouth and say nothing. So... God bless you all. I'm sorry that that was a wee bit of a warning uh, message, but it, due to the events that took place this morning, being reached out by two different people and it been in my heart, I just had to make this video. So God bless you all. Please subscribe and share and all glory to God in heaven and thank God for our faith, folks. And if you're looking on the sidelines and you're a Catholic that's fallen away from the faith, please come back to Jesus. Please come back to church. Please come back to the sacrament of confession and receive our beautiful Lord, body, blood, soul and divinity in the blessed sacrament. So God bless us all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Have a lovely day, folks. Amen.